Stone Soup, retold by Heather Forrest. There was once a comfortable little village nestled in the mountains. The people who lived there had more than enough to keep themselves content. One day, two travelers came along. Their coats were tattered, their hats were torn, their dusty shoes had holes in their soles. Hungry and tired, one traveler said to the other, Surely someone here can spare a bit of food. They knocked boldly on a door. It creaked open, and a woman asked, What do you want? Please, said one of the travelers, We are hungry. Do you care? Will you share? Do you have any food? The woman squinted her eyes and tartly replied, No! She quickly slammed the door shut. The travelers walked a little farther down the road and knocked on another door. A young boy answered. His chocolate brown eyes were sweet. Good day, he said shyly. What do you want? Please, said one of the travelers. We are hungry. Do you care? Will you share? Do you have any food? The boy replied. There's no food here, and closed the door. The travelers wandered wearily through the village, knocking on every door, but everywhere they heard, I don't care, I won't share, there's no food. They sat to rest beside a well. One traveler sighed and clutched his empty belly. He said, If there is really no food in this elegant little village, then the people who live here are in greater need than we are. Hmm. We should make them... Our magical soup. The two travelers climbed up on the edge of the well and shouted, We are master cooks. If anyone in this town has a big black pot, we will make the most delicious soup anyone ever tasted. A door slowly opened. A round man emerged carrying a gigantic black pot. <laughs> I love to eat, he said. Here's a pot. Let me see what two master cooks can do with it. Watch and see, said one traveler with glee. The travelers filled the pot with cold water and built a fire. Soon the flames licked the sides of the pot and billows of steam rose into the air. Curious people began to gather. What is happening? The townspeople asked. We are making an unusual soup, said one of the travelers. It requires a special magical ingredient. I am certain we will find it in this town. All the eyes in the crowd watched as one of the travelers reached down and picked up an ordinary stone. He tossed it into the pot with a splash. We're making stone soup, he said. It will be nutritious, delicious, incredible, and edible. But it would taste better. He paused and sighed. <sighs> if we only had a carrot. Where would we find a carrot in this town? The other traveler asked. We knocked on every door and everywhere we heard. I don't care. I won't share. There is no food. Then perhaps we cannot make the delicious soup after all. They both announced with a sad shrug of their shoulders and began to turn away. A child timidly raised her hand and said, Wait, I might have a small carrot. Excellent, shouted the travelers. Bring what you've got. Put it in the pot. We're making stone soup. This magical soup would taste even better if we had a potato, they added. A deep voice in the back of the crowd called out, I have a potato. <laughs> Wonderful, shouted the travelers. Bring what you've got. Put it in the pot. We're making stone soup. It uh, would taste better still, they said, if we had just a few more ingredients. Perhaps, said one villager, 
I could bring a green bean. Well, said another, if you're going to bring a green bean, I will bring a kernel of corn. I shall not be outdone, cried another. I will bring an egg noodle. One by one, voices announced. I will bring a slice of celery. I will bring a pinch of pepper. I can bring a sprig of parsley. I might have a tiny turnip. Well, why are you waiting? cried the travelers. Bring what you've got. Put it in the pot. We're making stone soup. Everyone in the town ran home to bring one small thing to put in the pot. Food flew through the air and landed with splashes in the growing soup. Soon the huge pot was full and simmering. A wonderful smell drifted through the air. The smell was so tempting, people brought out bowls, spoons, chairs, and tables. They placed hearty loaves of bread, chunks of cheese, and bowls of fruit on the tablecloths. Everyone came to taste the soup and marveled at the flavor. It's amazing, said one woman. These two travelers made such a delicious soup out of a stone. Out of a stone, said the travelers with a grin, and a magical ingredient, sharing. As the travelers left the town, they said, if anyone ever wants to make this soup again, just remember the recipe. Bring what you've got. Put it in the pot. Every bit counts, from the largest to the least. Together we can celebrate a stone soup feast.